Brand new season of summer 2024 is here. And this is the, is this the second? Third, third new series we're checking out. First one was the Demon Lord one, right? With the Skeleton Knight and the Demon Army. Second one was Isekai Suicide Squad. This one is the boomer anime where it's just like old man, the washed up, fucking uh, joins an adventure party, becomes OP. We checked out the trailer. I don't think there's much pull for it. So highly likely that we're not going to be continuing this after episode one. But hey, maybe my audience actually enjoys this. Let's see today. Immediately into a fight. Is this Osan? Huh? This is the invincible party that trained Osan, right? I think the trailer was like, Osan gets trained up by invincible party and then is able to do his shit again, right? Okay, what? Every character had a line. Every character here had a specific line to say. And then we get to this girl? Nothing. Alright, maybe Kudre. Okay. All right, starting 12 years late. Bald. Yeah. Hmm. Guild receptionist girl. This is Osan, I think. Alisa? Alright, just put the fries in the bag. Come on, let's go. I'm not here to talk about high school. Just put the fries in the bag. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, two years. They're like childhood friends. They kind of used to know each other? Arisa. Maybe she was a receptionist somewhere else before, yeah? Training with an invincible party to become so OP that now I am cracked. <laughs> Buddy, you're so drunk. I do. I'm trying to get paid. Rick, smack him up. Hmm. I think this is like incredible strength right now, right? Because like he just straight up just like pushed them back, like held them back, and he can't move. And he's making sounds. So there's like tremendous amount of force that we can't even see. I think. Bro passed out. Was it the liquor? No, I don't think that's the liquor, man. No, no, no. He did something else there. Here we go. Entrance exam test. Let's go. 4242. 4242 is unlucky? It's our dark elf oh. maid, Rayanet. All right, goodbye, Shini. We got a new elf of the season, Rayanet. How do you say her name in Japanese? <laughs> Look, it's not my fault the cameraman just like zooms in on your tits immediately. In fact, in the beginning intro scene, she was one of the four people on the mountain that said nothing. And immediately that's when you see, like, her, you know, in the opening as well, her titties just showed up on the side, you know? Blame the cameraman. <laughs> oh, so this is the grip. So that's when he apprehended him. Now, I don't know how he passed out, but that was all Rick. Rick did it. Yeah. Right there. Right there. So it was just a tap. Just physical force that knocked him out. I thought that he like overloaded him with mana or something. Okay. That's like what? Five foot eight? Five foot seven? I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to say that out loud. The fucking... The, the, you like just... You don't just check your boxes. Why are you reading this shit making me feel like subconscious? Like 32. It's like. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm not a fucking 16 year old Japanese high school student here to save the day like every other anime. <laughs> Kafka? Ma Kaiju 8? Same shit, right? Rick got a friend. Bald. Just cause she got titties. Alright, Rick. Wonder if Rick's gonna have a lot of mana? Or like he has no magic and he's all just like taijutsu, just a physical force. Let's see it. S S S <laughs> Zero point one percent suit activated, just like Kafka. <laughs> so it's looking like we don't use magic. We just like are physically stupid strong, but like no magic, huh? <laughs> Jesus! Relax! <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know. Is did it read wrong because it got overloaded with magic, or did he just touch it so gently, but that force was so strong that it broke it? I'm not sure. Did he even touch it? He touched it, right? Like I don't know if he actually broke. He touched it. So like either it couldn't read it right because it had too much magic, or him simply touching it broke it. I don't know which one it is. Probably the physical power. <laughs> Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. We're gonna break this shit. Our other senpai. Yeah. So we've already done this. Strong as dragon teeth. Alright, bro, I see you. Start with 50,000 punches a day. God damn. We are like Rock Lee on steroids, huh? <laughs> Not us, yes. <laughs> so magic to strengthen yourself exists too, okay? Ah, oh, this is the fucking annoying kid from the opening. There, there was the two, three siblings, right? There was like the girl, there was this kid, and then an older guy, right? Oh, bro, already he just looks fucking annoying. <laughs> Son of a duke! C rank? No way! Level 3! Bro. What was all that hype? Why did you build him up calling him a child prodigy with magic of c rank bullshit? Okay, it was like... <laughs> Bro, got nothing. Get out of here! <laughs> this is wise man grandchild all over again. How do you think that's amazing? How? You barely reached his punching bag and he's doing this and people going so good. <laughs> That's genius level? The instructors are saying this is genius level. This isn't the other NPCs glazing. The, 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 the instructors are saying that was amazing. Oh shit, the standards for this is so low, aren't we? Okay. Oh, it's the Tsundere girl. That was her senpai as well. We're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt that he intentionally made it small so that it couldn't blow up inside. Real. All right, we're, we're gonna go with that. All right, whatever. Do your hair flip. Bald. That's us. Bro, stop. Stop. Why do you have to keep mentioning that? Why is every proxy being like, uh, since you're 32? So, like, you wanna tell us about that? It's like, motherfucker, why you gotta announce that to everybody? Now that kid is gonna shit on us! How old are you, motherfucker? Whatever, whatever. Break this fucking slime bag. Let him know. Because we've trained on a golden slime bag. This shit's green. Now, assuming we break it, what are they going to say? Either A, they're going to be like, oh my god, this guy is next level. Or more likely, they're going to say, it must have been an accident. Oh yeah, the kid before used so much power on it, it was almost ready to be broken, so he got lucky. Dayona. 
And all these kids are looking at us like we're a boomer. <laughs> 20,000 punches done. 30k more to go today. Got reminds me of Yomen from Demon Slayer. Boom! There we go! <laughs> okay, the facial reactions are pretty good for everybody. They can eat the fucking slimes too. All right, what? How are they gonna rationalize in their mind, right? What are they gonna think? Let's go, old son. Oh, son, adventure. Is it now? Oh, this is a perfect opportunity for us to strike him while he uses defense magic to see how good it is. Looks like they already tried to attack Rick. Nothing with landing. So the kid couldn't defend against it. Is this a proctor? I think it is a proctor. But it doesn't matter because he's trained so hard that he's just the best defense and attack guy? He only needs base level. Oh, fat incantation. Whoa, Shock Cyclone! We good, right? We good. Knights of the Realm, Knight First Class, Sylvester El Sarnia. This guy looks like a good person. I don't know, just looking at him gives me confidence that he's not gonna be a piece of shit on first look. Sylvester, you good guy or not? Then he must be OP! I swear to God, if they come to the conclusion that we're somehow cheating after all this, Sylvester, don't let me down, man. いや、30、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、30。いや、
<laughs> he actually did say it. So like, this is the kind of insults that we can dish out to kids, right? Because like we're old, so we're gonna be like, well, you lost your kids. I'll find your daddy for you. You, you, you want your kids? You, let's go find them. Come on, kid. You can hold my hand. <laughs> Okay. I think this is the sister. It's the blonde girl from the opening, right? All right, her design, you know, it's already sounding pretty feisty. You lucky little fuck. All right, so they got it like that, huh? The royal fucking siblings. Oh, Neisama! Looking like it. Angelica. I'm not 32! Why? You you knew it was 32. Why are you rounding it up to 40? That's not fair. You could have said 30. You are... You went from 32 instead of saying 30. You're saying 40-ish? Motherfuckers are gonna say 50-ish next time. We gonna fuck her up too. And then the best thing is, what happens when the big brother shows up? Because in the opening, there's a third brother, right? Because like the oldest sibling is, because like these girls, the girl and the kid, they're gonna go crying like, oh, Nisama, please help us. And then the big bro comes, right? That's gonna for sure happen, right? Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, I did. Man, this first episode is cracked. Like, this is way better than I was expecting. Because, like, immediately we just got in, just no bullshit, just like entrance exam. Hype shit, go, go, go. Fuck people up, flex, and then duel on top of that. Like, this shit's going crazy first episode. Second class, alright. Not 40, 30 ish! <sighs> You sure? So that means that if we win, that she's gonna become the victor, like our servant, until death. I mean, we already have like a maid dark elf servant, and I don't think she'd like, you know, her joining, but like, alright, alright. Shut the fuck up, kid! <laughs> Bro doesn't know that he already took down an A rank adventure. I mean, again, he was intoxicated, but it's not like we were seriously fighting him either. We tapped him on the stomach and he fucking passed out, right? So, bro has no clue about his powers. Completely no idea. I mean, even he was like justifying in his own head of like, oh, the kid, you know, must have condensed the magic to be caught, like, conscientious about us being inside compared to the red, you know, lolly senpai that was teaching us. So, like, bro is super humble, has no understanding of his own powers, and thinks that, like, everything is just happening and it's like, uh, I don't. I don't know. Yep. He's probably easy A rank plus. Ew, that was... Because compared to it, it's not as bad. That's the part that trained us, yeah? Wait, did, did she say it counts us as a party? Wait, wait. Considers you one of its members. Oh! So I wonder how this works. Like, clearly each member has to be, like, above A class, right? Like, there has to be a rank above A class or something. But, like, we are considered one of the Oriha Confist members. And if word gets out that we're actually associated, like, that would be insane, right? Actually getting pretty high. Wow, so considerate. Ching. I hope we do a sword catch. Ching. Break the fucking sword. Did you miss? What happened there? Wait, wait, she went fast. She went fast? 
but nothing happened. Is she playing cool right now? Is she playing cool that like even though she hit that nothing happened? So she's like, oh, I'm that was just a greeting. I I, I can't tell. Did she actually miss on purpose? I I, I don't know. Oh, oh okay. You're giving us a handicap. That's nice of you. Th thanks. I I I I I, I it, the gate got cut, but like we we didn't get hit for shit. So is she just fast, but like no accuracy? I don't know. Angelica the Flash. All right, Asuna. Okay, so she deliberately missed last time. Okay, 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 okay. She I was intentional. This time she will actually try. <laughs> Okay, so to Rick, because of his training, everything is slow as fuck. Like, like he basically has the shower gun. Like, everything is slow motion. And like, are you trying right now? Are you giving us a handicap? He's probably gonna justify in his head that she's gonna go easy on him, right? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, you're way too slow to him. Third time's a chance, third time now. Kind of embarrassing, huh? <laughs> I mean, that might be true. She, she, cause like, she's like a, the daughter of a duke or something, right? So like, there may be some partial truth to that. But he doesn't recognize that he's broken, huh? New technique! <laughs> that was unironically more dangerous than the actual technique, right? That that was unironically like the spinning wheel like sword attack was better than the flickering flash step or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> Don't worry, she she has she's not trying yet. <laughs> what did she just say? <laughs> what, what was Rick's justification? <laughs> I couldn't read her movement at all. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, because she fucking intensely tripped. Yeah, that was like, yeah, a tornado spinning hedgehog attack. That's right. <laughs> and... So he's never going to admit that he's strong. This gag can, can't end. Because the moment that he acknowledges that he's strong, then the... Like, like, it seems like they're building the power fantasy on him already being busted OP because he got trained by Oriel Confess. But... He doesn't acknowledge that he's strong, and he's going to continue to underestimate himself. And this creates funny moments like this to happen. So, like, I wonder how long this will last. Yeah, overwhelming difference. Truly second class, man. We're nothing, man. <laughs> yeah, it was on purpose. Come on, what's the name of the attack? You, you got to give us the name of the attack if you're just going to go at this, too. All right, fine, skip it. Even faster! And now she will really try. Does she have a million? A 40 year old man! What, don't you have 10,000s, 100,000s, millionth or some shit? Like, three times faster than, you know, zero is still zero, you know? Alright. There we go again. That's number two now. She's really on her knees now. Try your best. <laughs> Not again. Oh shit, it's a gliding technique. Bam. He <laughs> almost killed her. That was sneaky though. Dangerous. Dangerous. God, she's so good, man. She just dodged that too? This girl is insane. Don't let her show any more techniques, man. Rick. Is this the ending? Oh. Everything. I give up. Servant for life. Servant for life is what she said. This was her deal. I'll let you have the win. What, what about the deal? Hold the fuck up. Get back here. Wait. Hello? Yeah. You came up with this, not me. You can. 
Fourth time, come on, fourth time, one more time. Team running away! Oh, that was the fastest she's moved. Confirmed right there. This, the fourth time she overcame her limits here, surpassed all limits, and moved faster than before. Get out of here, little kid. Can she just get away with this? Surely we passed. There's no way he didn't pass, right? Ori <laughs> helping fist members? The senpais want to see their juniors. Oh! Damn, look at that dude! Bro, it looks like Gyome. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the first episode of Osan Adventure. What'd you think? I thought the first episode... I give it like a 7 or a 7 5 to 5 out of 10. This is pretty good. It's pretty entertaining. Like straight up immediately off the bat. No need to do exposition. Just get in there. Somehow he's been training it really hard in the past and he's super strong. We get into entrance exams. There's a lot of funny moments. Comedy is a focal point of this show too, huh? And he's like, he is so under the impression that he's a weak person and that other people are so strong that he will never admit his own strength that leads to funny moments like this. So I get it. I kind of understand the appeal of this anime. Now, what truly matters is whether or not there's an audience on YouTube that's actually going to watch this. Hopefully you guys will watch this and enjoy it and we can watch the rest of the season. But again, these weekly shows, all that matters is do you want to see it? And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time... Take care.